Vulnerable Facebook post from a local business owner is getting quite a bit of attention right now. Angeline Ripley Wright took to social media so that customers could a face could put a face and a name to her store, Ida Red. Two News Oklahoma Shay Smith stopped by and spoke to Angeline about the message behind her post. Local businesses help cities and communities thrive, and local shopping, like what Justin Homer is doing, is crucial to keeping those businesses afloat. Shopping local helps get small businesses where the big businesses are and everyone needs to get their start somehow. But owning a local business is not always easy. Just ask the owner of Ida Red. I think that owning a small business, I just am always wearing different hats, whether it's accounting or fixing the toilet or figuring out what the next cool thing is. And those hats can quickly stack up on top of each other. A lot of times people don't know the turmoil or the heartache. There's a lot of good things and good wins, but also you know, just hard stuff we have to deal with. Wright says this past year has been a tough one for the business. The owner made a Facebook post detailing some of the issues she has faced this year as a local business owner, and her post has gained a lot of traction among Tolsons. Last November, an SUV drove into the Ida Red at 91st and Yale, insurance only paying a fraction of the cost to repair the store. She also says she has dealt with money and merchandise theft. But she is not the only local business owner who's taken to Facebook detailing problems local businesses have faced. On Monday, we introduced you to Ashley Ryan, the owner of Stash. She's had to deal with multiple instances of theft and vandalism. Battery chargers. We had an air conditioning unit in here that we used to set up so the girls could stay cool in the heat. It's gone. Um, I mean, extension cords, like pretty much anything that they can steal, they have. But the owners say through the trials, Tolsons and people in the surrounding communities have been supportive during the frustrating time. So many great stores in Tulsa to go check out and support and you know that's what makes our community unique. Shay Smith, 2 News Oklahoma.